Every so often a poker player comes along who is willing to put aside the rules of good bankroll management and lay it all on the line for a shot at the big time. One such player was X Blink who went on a winning streak at Ultimate Bet in 2009. Later on, he came to be known as X Wink on Full Tilt Poker. This is the legendary poker story of X Wink and how he became a millionaire in less than 4 days. But before his epic run, things were not looking that good for X Blink. $11. That's all he had in his poker account after another day of getting destroyed at the tables. Before that, he had deposited $500 nearly 20 times but was not able to get anything going, always running bad and tilting. With his last $11, he thought of playing a tournament and if he lost that, he'll deposit again. If this is the way you think about your last $11 online, well then congratulations, you are a degenerate poker player. But then something happened. Something that the online poker world had never seen. He described his run on 2 plus 2 forums as follows. X Blink wins the $11 tournament on Ultimate Bet for a payday of $750 in November of 2009. The next day, he starts playing slightly higher stakes. He plays away for a few days, moving from 1-2 to 5-10 and his bankroll also moved up from $4,000 to $16,000. For the next two days, he was bouncing between $20,000 and $60,000 playing 10-20 PLO. He started day 5 with $25.50 PLO and his bankroll crossed $100,000. By day 6, he was up to $200-$400 PLO and playing No Limit Hold'em when there was no PLO tables running. Them. It was enough for the forums and even the Ultimate Bed blog to take note of the meteoric rise of X Blink and the fact that X Blink was willing to talk back to the poker public on 2 plus 2 forums was enough for most people to decide that X Blink was going to be the next big star, getting the same treatment that Isildur won and Durr had before him. But then, a funny thing happened. X Blink stopped playing on Ultimate Bet almost entirely since April of 2's big run. People also made accusation that X Blink was a super user. However, none of these claims have of course ever been proven. It turns out apparently that the 20 year old from Vancouver did have some saving skills after all, as he told the 2 plus 2 forum lurkers that he had actually cashed out almost 1 million on Ultimate Bet, approximately the amount he was still up and simply quit playing on the side, save for the occasional small session. It was assumed that X Blink had just had enough of being a degenerate and had fled the high stakes world. But as fellow degenerates know, the itch to come back and make a big score can be a lure too strong for anyone to deny and X Blink came back onto Full Tilt Poker as X Wink. To say X Wink was a complete stranger to Full Tilt's high stakes tables isn't totally accurate. He made a brief appearance back in mid-2010 where he just won over 200,000 between May and June playing No Limit Hold'em. At the time, his presence sparked a decent amount of interest due to the fact that his username, Xwink, was startlingly similar to the young Canadian player, Xblink. If you look at the stats of these accounts, you will notice that both accounts played with a similar style when it comes to high stakes poker. Speculation heated up considerably at the beginning of March of 2011 however, as X Wink came out of nowhere to peak at $2 million after winning huge sums from some of the biggest names in online poker as he took on all players heads up at all stakes of PLO up to and including 501,000. His ascent had actually started at the low mid stakes couple of days previously but his first 2011 appearance on High Stakes DB came on Tuesday, 2nd March, where he was the day's 7th biggest winner, taking over $102,000 from 1.5 thousand hands of PLO. It was between 3rd and 4th however, where X Wing's activity really came to light as he took on the likes of Tom Duan, Rui Cao, Gus Hansen and David Benfield, one after the other at the highest stakes online, making a killing in the process. His biggest wins on 3rd March came against two full tilt red pros, Rui Cao and David Benfield, with Cao donating $610,000 and Benfield $560,000. In total, the Canadian player won a little over $1.2 million on 3rd of March. It was more of the same the following day as X Wink won another $447,000. At one point during the day, his 4 day total eclipsed $2 million, an amount which marked the peak of the hyper aggressive player's climb. However, 
The wheels came off his joy right after playing 3,211 hands of 300-600 PLO and 500-1000 cap PLO against Cole South, Phil Ivey, Daniel Cates and No Parason, in which he lost $1.2 million losing 60% of his full tilt poker bankroll in a single day. In a chat with Jungleman12 during his losing session, X-Wing also admitted that he was tilting. Around the same time, it was finally confirmed by the man himself that he was actually the same 20-year-old Canadian pro who had stormed to huge success as X-Blink at Ultimate Bet as once again he took to the 2 plus 2 account to confirm his story with the amusing cliff notes below. 4,000 to 2 million in 4 days. Did this with my excellent bankroll management skills. Lost 1.2 million in 1 day. Sit around with remainder. Probably cash out half a million dollars or something. And lastly, will continue to play to entertain you guys. One thing for sure is that many pros have been criticizing his level of skill which accounts for the fact so many players were lining up to play him. Also the fact X-Wing played a maximum of 243 hands at the same table before moving to the next indicated strongly he was taking a hit and run approach to the game. In fact an online chat between Durr and a fellow player went as follows. It wasn't over just yet for X-Wing however as over the next few days he managed to win back close to $900,000 with wins over No Parason, Ivy and Tom Duan. However, over the next week or so, X-Wing gradually gave back most of his profits to the high stakes community but it looks like he did indeed withdraw around half a million dollars as he stated in his 2 plus 2 post as he continued to play but at considerably lower stakes and his full tilt account unplayed at high stakes since mid 2011 is still up $457,000 at 2550 and above. Seeing his exploits, many people believe that he was the next Isildur one, but that was not the case. X-Wing disappeared from the high stakes tables of Full Tilt Poker in July of 2011 and was never seen again. This video is powered by Bluff the Spot, the best place to learn how to win at poker from actual high stake coaches like MMA Sherdog. Check the link in the description.